This is the best non-stimulant pre-workout that I have ever tried. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I just wanted to review today on this Genius Pre, aka Genius Brands pre-workout. I searched Amazon a lot and I found this one on Amazon deal. It's about $30. They use a lot, a lot of good ingredients and so far everything that I've been trying from Genius, I really, really, really like. What I get from the Genius brand is they're going to use different ingredients, really, really high doses, everything pure, no extra fillers at all, which I really, really, really like. When you're taking a supplement to make you feel better or to improve something, the last thing you want is some really dumb fillers or anything extra in there getting in the way of the ingredients that you're trying to take because then it's making them less effective. On to Genius Pre. I can go over the ingredients that I know. I know pretty much all the ingredients in here. It's not only caffeine free, but it is stim free. Certain kind of supplements, sometimes they'll go low caffeine or they'll use other stimulants like Dynamine. Genius brand uses Dynamine, which is a light stimulant in other stuff, but they won't use it in the pre-workout no stem an amazing amazing pump everything you'd ever want to keep you strong to make you just in the mood to lift and get things done this is what it did for me i really really like this guys and i have friends of mine who don't like any caffeine at all and some of them like little to none i'm somebody who takes a good amount of caffeine i take caffeine almost every day i take other stimulants almost every day so you would think that i would want something to go along with this not necessarily technically i maybe would get a little more of a boost if i had something with caffeine but i can tell you as a caffeine user if I just take one scoop of this, it's fantastic for me. I don't need any more. And I actually enjoy going to the gym whenever I have this because it just makes me feel great. And it's super clean. There's no extra fillers. There's no stimulants. It's just a very clean yet very strong pre-workout. The first ingredient, citrulline malate. Citrulline slash arginine is in almost every pump boosting mix. Citrulline basically increases the amount of arginine in your blood so it's just all very very good they have six grams which is very very high perfect dose i would say you want no less than four grams when you're going for a pre-workout carnison beta alanine that this is just an everything it's got a modest dose of two grams definitely going to help you out definitely going to work betanine and hydrus now i've seen this in a lot i've tried this a lot i think it's supposed to make you stronger but it hasn't been proven and some people say it gives you bad breath every product that i respect pretty much uses it and it's supposed to increase strength so i'm, I'm guessing it's going to do something L-tyrosine, one gram. Now L-tyrosine just makes you feel great. A lot of the supplements we're using in acetyl L-tyrosine, which is a stronger kind of more stimulant version of tyrosine in my opinion. Tyrosine does have some of the uh, uplifting qualities, but it's not as stimulant based as in acetyl L-tyrosine. And I would say it's at a dose of one gram, which is very, very strong and noticeable. If you were to just take one gram of tyrosine, I would say almost everybody's gonna notice the mood improvement just off that. And the lowest I'd want to see you put tyrosine in a pre-workout is about 500. So they're going with 1,000. So it's, it's a great, great dosage. L-arginine, one gram. So they have the L-arginine to go along with the citrulline malate. I kind of like that because like I said, you take citrulline because citrulline puts more arginine in your blood than if you were to just take arginine. They have arginine there, but they also have citrulline. So they have these two forms trying to deliver the maximum amount of arginine in your blood, which is going to basically give you the best pump possible. Alpha size GPC. I think it's at 600, but it says it's at 50%. So I guess that's 300% alpha GPC. Alpha GPC is just basically a very, very good kind of trolling. Choline, in my opinion, kind of gives you this calm focus, anxiety-free focus. When you take choline with other stimulants, it just provides a more zen out feeling to me without feeling tired. If I were to just take a lot of choline, maybe I'd feel a little tired and anti-anxiety to me. That's what I get from choline. Hika. Now, this is one that I have not looked up. I think I did look it up once and it looked pretty good, but this is the only one that I really don't know about and I haven't really studied enough. But I pretty much can guarantee you that it's going to be very, very good. And it's at a high dose of 500 milligrams. So I'll put that on screen. Elev ATP. I've had this in an energy drink before, and it actually made me feel really, really good. I feel like there was a little bit of extra something in there. I haven't taken it by itself, but the Elev ATP, I just really, really like it. So that's at 150 milligrams. Rhodiola rosea. Rhodiola rosea is something I really, really like. I don't know about if it would work at 100 milligrams because it definitely does make you feel good. It's an adaptogen. I've actually done a review on it, but usually when I take rhodiola rosea, I take 500 milligrams to probably about 1,000. This one's only at 100, so I don't really know how much it's actually gonna help. Rhodiola rosea has got a real rough taste to it. It's probably like one of the hardest 
roughest tasting things that I'd ever tried right up there with teacrine and dynamine. Yeah, so 100 milligrams, I really don't know how much that's going to do, but I do like rhodiola, so I'm glad they put it in there. Theobromine. Now this, I guess, from my understanding when I've looked it up, it's not caffeine, but it's kind of like a stimulant, kind of like a feel good feeling. And I think it's in chocolate. I'll double check that, but it just makes you feel good. I've had it in things. I've never taken it by itself, but when I've had things that have theobromine in it, I feel like there's an extra little zip to it that I like. Astrogen, which is, it's like a mixture of two different things. And one of them is astralagrass, which is an adaptogen, just like Rhodiola rosea. This is one that I haven't done as much research on as well. I'll put something in the video on it. Hyperzine A, which hyperzine A is something to up the choline in your body. It's gonna not allow it to get rid of the choline. So you end up having more because your body's not able to break it down as easy. That's basically what hyperzine A does. What you got with this is a very, very great, strong, effective pre-workout. It's not surprising when you look at that ingredient mix why it feels the way it does and why it performs the way it does even to me like I was saying as a caffeine user and this is a hundred percent no stim at all I really really enjoy this I could go to the gym with just this and be fine maybe you'd want to put a little more in there but for me this is perfectly the way it is and for right now this is the best non-stimulant pre-workout that I have ever tried. Some of their products, which is funny, go up to like 50 or $60. This one's only 40, which is like crazy. It's like, what are the 50 and $60 products do? One of the things I really, really love about this and that actually got me to buy it, and I know it's weird, you're probably not gonna care about it, is that they don't use artificial colors. I hate artificial colors. Every time that I have them, I just don't feel as good. I feel like things are just disrupted in my day. They put artificial colors in so many things, so easy for you to have five, six products in a day that you're taking them in. And once I noticed that it was bothering me, I try to limit the artificial colors as much as possible. Maybe if I'm having like one drink of something and I just really wanna try it and it has colors in it, I'll try it. But if I'm gonna spend a lot of money on a pre-workout or any supplement, I do not wanna tap colors in it. I double check everything. I've literally not bought half the supplements I wanna buy just cause they have artificial colors in it. They use turmeric to give you the color. And the flavor sour apple, I would say it's above average. It's not the best flavor ever, but it's definitely not bad. And what I wanted with this is a pure, strong pre-workout i don't really care as much about the taste as much as i do about the performance and this one performs fantastic guys highly recommend it let me know if you tried genius brand let me know if you tried genius pre and let me know what your favorite stimulant free pre-workout is because i absolutely love this and hopefully the one that you recommend doesn't have any artificial colors in it that's going to make me a little scared to try it thank you guys so much for watching the video let me know what you think of everything we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys' help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you on the next video Peace.